Hey broskies, it's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be doing something crazy. I'm gonna draw for 24 hours straight. No sleeping, only drawing and suffering. Do not attempt this at home, but I can because I'm cool. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, as proof, I'm sharing my whole screen so that you guys are able to see the time right here. It is uh, 5.01 p.m. March 21st, so yeah. I wasn't really sure how to start this video, so I just said, okay, tell me what to draw. Got a couple hundred comments here. Dude, this person said muscular frog. Okay, now I have to draw that. Okay, just gonna be real with you guys. Drawing frogs isn't my specialty, so what is the anatomy of a frog? I don't know. Okay, low-key, I feel like this dude would fit really well into the Bikini Bottom universe. Actually, are, are frogs even allowed in Bikini Bottom? They don't live in the ocean, but they still live underwater. They have, like, little balls on their hands? Not like that. I'm just saying that's what frogs look like, okay? Do not take that the wrong way. They got round bellies. I poked a frog's belly the other day. It was really squishy, actually. Okay, my beautiful frog man is done. So I guess he's this muscular pregnant frog man, and he's very happy. Only 23 and a half hours to go. Let's see here. Okay, why do so many people want me to draw Dwayne the Rock Johnson? I've done this like four times now. A mushroom girl. Oh, this is my style. Her head is gonna be the mushroom stem. I'm giving her elf ears because I just feel like it. Oh my god, she is so cute! I actually love her so much. Her body is gonna be this mushroom dress. Give her some fluffy hair. Actually, mushrooms do have hair on them. Those little dark brown things. Okay, don't ask me what I did with her arms because I honestly don't know. Her legs look a little goofy, but that's okay. Okay, this is my mushroom girl. Look how cute she is. I love how she turned out. We are now 40 minutes into this challenge. So yeah, we have a long way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna pick one more comment and then after that we'll move on to something else. A Giga Chad version of you. A few moments later. I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. My hat is gonna be flexing its muscles. Ugh. Okay, genuinely I hate this drawing so much. What are these lips? Anyways, it is, uh, we are an hour into the challenge now. It is 6 p.m. And I guess now we're gonna move on to something else. You know what, there's actually this one drawing that I've been wanting to do, but I've been too swamped with YouTube work, but now is a perfect excuse to draw it, so let's go. As I said, I came up with this idea several days ago and I've been wanting to draw it really bad, but I've been too busy with work and all that. So now obviously is the perfect time because I have 24 hours. My idea for this drawing is an alien girl relaxing and taking a bath, but instead of the tub having water, it's filled with this galaxy space goop instead. Since you know, just an alien from space. I thought this was such a cool idea and it's been stuck in my head forever now, so I'm happy I'm finally drawing it. Funny thing is, I actually thought of this idea while I was taking a bath. I like to take baths and stuff because they're super relaxing, but yeah, that's how I thought of it. As you can see, she's laying down chilling in her space bath and in the tub, there are little planets floating, a mini spaceship, and even an alien rubber ducky. Fun fact, I also have my own little rubber ducky, so yeah, name him in the comments, please. On the rim of the tub is stuff like shampoo, with soap and a towel hanging on the side. I also added some bubbles. Bubble baths are superior. Above her is stars, planets, and a toy astronaut. I did my best to make the galaxy water look super sparkly and pretty. Her hair is pink and soft, while her skin is this light green color. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I personally think green and pink is a really good color combo. I wish I would see it more often. This drawing really makes me want to get a bath bomb that makes the water look like a galaxy because that would be so cool. On her shampoo bottle is also this picture of an alien so it's like a brand from outer space or something. One thing I realized at the end of this is I forgot to put a faucet on the tub. Eh, who needs logic? It's space. I love how she turned out. She was so much fun to draw. You can also get her as a limited edition poster on my shop. Link below. Get her before she's gone. Okay, I'm bored and I've been sitting for a while so I'm actually gonna draw on my wall. Draw a cat mixed with two to three of your different foods. I've never drawn on the wall before so you'll be like she's in your face and I gotta make Mix it with some of my favorite foods. So the body is gonna be a slice of chocolate cake, obviously. This looks like a piece of cheese right now. <laughs> I like pizza. I wonder if his legs will be a pizza, I suppose. Oh, I love boba. These are boba pearls. Oh, this one has a butt cheek. 
Ooh, I like coffee. I mostly just like iced coffee, so. Okay, he is completed. This is my um, food cat abomination. John Gabe as handsome Squidward and see his reaction. That sounds very interesting. I think he had some really dazzling cheekbones. He also had a, a butt chin, luscious lips. This looks so much like me, wow. I'll give him eyelashes because Gabe has really pretty eyelashes. Yeah. This is Gabe's luscious hair. You guys have never seen it in real life before, but as we speak, his hair looks just like this, okay? Gabe, if you guys didn't know, also has a mustache and beard, so. Well, I'm getting exposed. This is. <laughs> <laughs> He has a really thick beard. You haven't trimmed that in a while, have you, Gabe? It's been a little while. Strawing makes me uncomfortable. Why does it make you uncomfortable? It looks just like you. Wait, he has blushes because Gabe is so embarrassed right now. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Thank you, Gabe. Stop. <laughs> uh, so, Gabe, what do you think of this beautiful squidward as your view? Looks great. Handsome out of 10. You should draw a toast that stabs someone's feet with a knife. Okay. This is the toast. The toast is... <clears throat> it is so sinister in his feet, because I said so. In his hand, he's holding a knife. Oh my god. He's stabbing the foot. Oh wait. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> It's what your foot looks like if you get stabbed, okay? And there's blood coming out of it. <laughs> Toast stabbing foot is complete. And do not critique my foot drawing. That is accurate. Wow. Oh god, I just found a terrible one. This is so cursed. An MLP version of yourself. Uh, I've never drawn anything MLP related. They have really big sparkly eyes. Yeah, I'm trying to color in the hair. Oh no. I haven't done the body yet, I'm scared. I had this friend in middle school who was actually really good at drawing these, so that's the only reason why I slightly remember how to draw the bodies. Actually, that's pretty accurate. That's right, I need to put a cutie mark. They have those little things on the side. Um, I guess my cutie mark would literally just be a pencil because I'm just gonna draw stuff. That is me, MLP style. Do not draw a fan art of that because I never want to see it again. Thank you. This is my cursed wall that I made and now I have to wash all of the stuff off of the wall and I don't know if these markers come off. Let me know uh, which one is your favorite in the comments. Mocha approves. I decided to break out my sketchbook since it's been quite a while from when I last actually drew on paper. I was really rusty at first. I mean, I've gotten so used to digital that I forgot with pencil there was no stabilizer to keep my lines smooth, so they didn't look the best. They were kind of wobbly. I'm someone who has very shaky hands by default, so yeah, that's my excuse. I sketched a random body as practice and then tried drawing a headshot of this random demon girl. I didn't know what I was doing, honestly. I wasn't a fan of how it turned out, so yeah. I moved on to another drawing and made this super pretty jellyfish girl. I took some inspiration from Medusa and Amori. This turned out way better than I expected and I was super happy with it. Might draw my sketchbook more often. Okay, after that I really needed to use a bathroom. But I didn't want to stop drawing so I took my sketchbook with me to the toilet and yeah, I drew a wonky looking cat. Now I can proudly say I've drawn on the toilet, if that's something to be proud of. I am starting to feel tired. It is 11 something. I have some coffee from Taco Bell. Taco Bell coffee is actually really good. Earlier before I started the video, I actually ordered three of these. Uh, because I knew I'm gonna need them. This is around the time that I go to bed, so pray for me. This time it was pretty late and I was getting sleepy, but of course I had to push through. I decided I wanted to get some work done since I had so much time. I began working on a speed paint for a video. It was part two of me drawing slimes as cute girls. First part I made of the video was super fun and I wanted to make a part two. Go check out the first video if you want. So anyways, the slime was called Mermaid Dippin' Dots and I thought it was so pretty. I remember I waited like two to three weeks for the slime to be restocked just so I could buy it for my video. Dippin' Dots is a really cool freeze-dried ice cream 
that's shaped like little circles. I always thought it had a really unique texture. Anyways, Dippin' Dots is special to me because I have childhood memories of going to the fair and getting this ice cream. So I wanted the mermaid girl to look like she's kind of chilling and was having fun at a fair herself. Then again, the ice cream would probably melt underwater since she's a mermaid. I was pretty tired working on this and it was very tedious, but I powered through and finished the drawing. I am finished with my mermaid slime girl and she's super cute and it's also four in the morning. I'm definitely feeling uh, more tired than before. It's not like super bad, but it's getting there. I think I'm gonna draw you. Can I draw you? Hey Mocha. <sighs> what better thing to do at four in the morning than to draw my kitties? Yep, I'm doing it. I just broke out my sketchbook again and drew Yuki and Mocha, that's their names, chilling together. I thought it was really funny that while I was drawing, Mocha kept going on my desk and just observing what I was doing and randomly walking all over my drawing. He really likes to be the center of attention, so he made sure to be in the video. Petition in the comments for Mocha to make his own YouTube channel. Anyways, as you can see, my doodle is Yuki laying down, relaxing, while Mocha is standing next to her with his big crazy eyes. I think I captured their personalities pretty well. Yuki is chill and Mocha is Mocha. I don't even know if he's a cat or if he's even from this earth. Okay, let's look at some more comments to decide what I draw. One apple a day doesn't keep the doctor away, so draw 10 million apples? Bro, do you think I'm crazy? Well, you're right. I'm probably not gonna be able to fit 10 million, but I'm gonna see how many apples I'm able to fit on this canvas. One. That looks like a butt cheek. Two. Three. A few moments later. <laughs> A few minutes later. Okay, we're at 589, but we ran out of space, but I don't care. I'm making it 600. 600 apples! Wait, missed a spot. 601. There we go. Yeah, this is 601 apples. My hand really hurts. By the way, I was counting that entire time, just so you know. That took me like 20 minutes, by the way. I hope you're happy. A butterfly made out of bread. I know it's weird, but I want to see it. You know what? I want to see that too. So I think the body of the butterfly, I'm going to make it into a baguette. I think this is what a baguette looks like. Boop. His antennas can be made of pretzel sticks or something. I guess. What should the wings be? How about uh, tortilla wraps? I'm not really sure how much these look like tortillas, but oh well. We want some diversity in this bread butterfly, so the other side will be different. Literally just putting sandwich bread slices. Okay, well this bread butterfly turned out looking strange. Curvy but square. That sounds so unsettling. I'm literally just doing this out of pure curiosity. Would his feet be square too? Oh yes, yeah, so this is very strange. I never want to see this again. It is now six in the morning. And I feel awful. Okay, this is the point where it was like seven in the morning. I had been up for 22 hours now and had already drawn for 14 hours since I started the challenge at 5 p.m. the day before. I was starting to really run out of ideas because I had already drawn so much, but on a whim, I decided I'd draw boba milk tea. I really craved it during this time, but I couldn't have it because the boba shop was closed. I was so upset. I put cats on it because why not? And the boba pearls are also cats. Guess the flavor in the comments. It's one of my favorites. I wanted so badly to stop drawing and I felt myself nearly passing out on and off while making this. Like I laid back in my chair for just a few seconds to give my eyes a rest and I fell asleep for like a minute but I woke up so that's good. Hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. I drew the boba kitty. Look at how cute. I love it. And it's eight in the morning yay so i was at my lowest point and i was desperate for some type of comfort because i felt like doo-doo so i grabbed my sketchbook and went to my bed with my blankie and just drew random stuff whatever my tired brain could think of hey broskies it is now basically 11 in the morning this is the first thing that i doodled this is it's just as it's captioned it's me it's how i feel i'm so tired this one Okay, this one's kind of embarrassing. She looks really wonky. I don't know what's going on with her anatomy. And then, okay, avocado bat. I was making animals as fruits. This one is an eggplant dog, or at least it's supposed to be. It looks really goofy. This is actually based off of the sprout moles from The Amazing Game of Mori. And it's supposed to be like a sexy sprout mole. And oh yeah, I almost forgot I made this one. Yeah, I don't know what I was trying to go for with this one. 
Um, I was trying to make some type of creepy monster. This one is a super cute chibi flash Sanrio aesthetic girl I did, I guess. Just a random uh, design I made. I literally laid back in my chair for one second and I nearly fell asleep without even noticing. In the bed for a while and using my sketchbook, I did regain some of my energy, so that was good. 11.30 in the morning now, uh, I drew some random poses. I didn't really have an exact idea for what I wanted to do, but I just wanted to do something that wasn't too hard, maybe get some practice in. First pose is a girl who looks like she's doing some kind of ballerina pose. Next is a demon. And then the third one is a girl being terrified by a spider. I ended up liking the fourth pose so much that I decided to make it into an entire drawing. This is actually my original character and his name is Sonata. Yes, basically a long version of my YouTube name. That was intentional. I've had this character for many years and he's actually the protagonist for a story I plan on making into a graphic novel series at some point. He's got fluffy white hair and a big red sweater. Sonata really enjoys reading so I put a book in front of him and if you haven't noticed, yes, his eyes actually match the eye colors on my YouTube hat. My hat is also white like his hair. So yeah, I recently based my hat off of him so that's a fun fact. And then I put a fairy next to him because that's also in my story. I had a lot of fun drawing him. I actually think drawing my character gained some of my energy back from how happy I was. Because I never really talked about this before but I'm very obsessed with my characters from my story. 3 p.m. So two hours until this video thing is complete. I am so excited for this to be over. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what to draw. Two hours left and no ideas. Coming up with ideas for this video has actually been so hard because I have to have so many ideas. I don't know. I know we're basically at the end, but all my sanity has been lost. Here you go. His name is Hank. He has a hat, and his hat is brown, and he also has hands, and he has stick fingers as well. Pretty happy, unlike me. I'm gonna draw Hank's dog. This is Hank's dog. He has a big nose. For some reason, he stands like a human. And let me draw Hank's wife. I'm just kidding. He doesn't have a wife. Let's draw Hank's husband. Scarily tall. They were going to Burger King in their car that has one wheel. Meow, meow. Uh, let's draw Spongebob. <laughs> I always wondered why Spongebob has sleeves like connected to his sponge skin. I'm gonna draw the most detailed smiley face ever. Okay, this is actually really scary. There's been so many times where I sat back for just one minute to give myself a breather, and before I know it, I accidentally fell asleep. That happened so many times. This face is me when I'm done with this challenge. Hey guys, watch this. I'm gonna draw a cat in five seconds. Go. Oh, oh! Um, that's not a cat. Go. You know what? I say that is good enough. I can tell that is a cat. Wait, I have a great idea. This video is called Drawing for 24 Hours, but it doesn't say who has to be drawing. Okay, Gabe, you need to draw something for me. Yeah, I thought you were drawing for 24 hours, not me. It doesn't say my name in the title. Okay. That's a tomato. A few inches later. What is that? <laughs> it's his mouth. Ew, why is his mouth <laughs> I'm gonna draw Miku congratulating me. After all I've been through within the last 23 and a half hours, I feel like I definitely deserve this. Congratulations from Miku. We're about to be at the finish line. Miku's holding the finish line flag. That's what it looks like, right? The racing flag. I have something I don't know. Guys, it's almost time. Oh my god. It's about to be 24 hours. It's been 24 hours! I am the best artist 